If you have a Squarespace website and you're walking through my pre-launch checklist, welcome back. And if you don't have a copy of the checklist yet, I'll drop a link below in the description so you can grab it. In this video, I'll be showing you how to update your built-in Squarespace domain name. Now it's not required, but it helps keep things organized and helps you find what you're looking for quickly in your dashboard. I'm here in my scribe template for authors. If you're interested in jumpstarting your own web design with a template, check out the link to my template shop below. All right, so we're here and our built-in domain name is harmonica apricot something dot squarespace dot com. Now, if you have more than one website in your dashboard, if you're working on a couple of different trials, figuring things out, it can be hard to tell them apart. So what I like to do is give my primary website that I'm working on a name. So something other than the harmonica apricot. And you can also do this if you're a web designer and just name the built-in domain, something that makes sense for that particular client. All right, so the way to do this, there are a few different ways to get there. I'm gonna show you three ways because as we know, Squarespace enjoys moving things around and hopefully one of these will still work when you're watching this video. We are going to go into settings, which right now is a little cog icon at the bottom of this panel and then into domains and email and then into domains. Two other ways to get there. If you're in Squarespace 7.1, which you should be if you're using this checklist, you can hit this little search icon after you've logged into your website start typing domains and click domains. And finally, if you are here in your website and you click the forward slash key on your keyboard, that's the key that shares itself with the question mark, you can type in domains here. Now, once we get to that domains setting, we can click on the current built-in domain and just highlight it and type over it. So this will be Christie's dash demo and save and confirm. And now you can see up top, it is now Christie's demo instead of our apricot domain that we had before. So it makes a little more sense. If you found this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up as it helps other people discover my videos. Thanks for watching and I wish you all the best with your website. <music>